friends this is Aisha Joshi and again I'm here with you with a brand new session and uh, yesterday you know very well that it was uh, the women's day international women's day 8th of March so uh, today I uh, we actually be we achieve IS the team of our achieve IS uh, thought that we should make a uh, you know video about women empowerment we should discuss something, uh, some schemes that will be a gift for all those women aspirants who are preparing for civil services. So, yeah, it will be helpful for male aspirants also. But uh, here it will be a gift from our HIS team to all those women who are pre preparing for HIS. Okay, so here we are going to discuss about Indian government schemes for women empowerment. Okay, let's start. Here you can see it is the women empowerment scheme. So it is the logo that has been published by government of India. Yeah, the first scheme is Mahila A Heart. Okay, uh, here you can see it is the website Ministry of Women and Child Development. Uh, it issued or we can say uh, is the parent organization of Mahila A Heart. So let's see what it is. It is a direct online marketing platform launched by the Ministry of Women and Child Development to support women entrepreneurs, self-help groups, SHGs and NGOs. It means non-governmental organization to show showcase products made and services rendered by them. Okay, so by this the hearts will be organized Mahila hearts will be organized in this heart markets the uh, girls or women's i can say uh, they will come with their own handmade products and uh, they will sell out there okay and government will give the uh, funding for it so this is the part of digital india initiative women can register themselves at www.mahilaeheart rmk.government.in and leverage technology of showcasing their work to a broader market okay so it was Mahila A Heart the first scheme that is launched by the Ministry of Women and Child Development okay so let's go through this another scheme this is the Beti Bachao Beti Padhao Andolan and uh, it is the most famous campaign I can say this is the social campaign aimed at eradication of female forticides and uh, raising awareness on welfare services intended for young Indian girls. The Save the Girl Child movement was launched on 22nd January 2015. It is a joint initiative run by Ministry of Women and Child Development and the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and the Ministry of Human Resource Development. So here it is the you know, important thing that this is not under the under only uh, uh, an a ministry I, or I can say only just a parent ministry is not only one there are three organizations jointly in uh, initiated this or running this campaign okay and these it is the most important point because it can become in statement form of examination when you will are going to attempt the question there will be a question on Beti Bachao, Beti Padao, if it could be there, then there will definitely be the statement like it is the, it is under the, or it is the initiative of Ministry of Women and Child Development or Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Uh, they can give you uh, all these three uh, organizations or ministries or either they can go through the uh, one or two organizations. Okay, so Beti Bachao, Beti Padao. The scheme was launched with an initial funding of 100 crores. Okay, the, uh, it, the funding is 100 crore rupees. It mainly targets the clusters in Uttarakhand, Bihar, UP, Punjab, Delhi and Haryana. In India, the child gender ratio in the age group of 2 to 6 years stood at 931 girls for 1000 boys. Okay, it dropped to 918 girls for every 1000 boys in 2011. Sex selective abortion or female forticides in India has led to the sharp decline in the ratio of girls born in contrast to the boys 
in some states of the country the wide gap in child gender ratio was first noticed in 1991 when the national census data was released and it turned out to be a worsening problem after the release of 2001 national census data okay to bridge the growing gap uh, growing gap between the birth of girl and boy infants the government of india has taken up an initiative to promote beti bachao beti padhao and many programs has been organized to promote save girl child and to educate girl child since 2015 the campaign has also received support from indian medical association and here it is the important point that here it was recently government of india has also organized a branch of this scheme that is um sukanya yojana okay it is sukanya yojana is also the uh, i can say branch or sister concern of this campaign okay so let's go through the yeah you can see here sukanya samriddhi yojana falling under the ambit of beti bachao beti padhao scheme the sukanya samriddhi yojana is a government backed saving scheme for girl child okay the account can be opened at any india post office or a branch of an authorized commercial bank any time between the birth of the girl child and till the age of 10 by a parent or guardian only one account is allowed per child and parents with the minimum of rupees 1000 deposited in it okay there is no limit of number of deposits either in a month or in a financial year the account offers an interest of 8.6% the girl child can operate the account once she reaches 10 years of the age the account allows for 50% withdrawal for higher education at the age of 18 the account reaches maturity in 21 years after opening it deposits can be made till the account completes 14 years and therefore thereafter the account will earn only applicable rate of interest okay so it was sukanya samriddhi yojana so, so now let's go through the next one you can see here, here a picture and uh, who's of it this is the picture of one stop center scheme what it is it is popularly known as sakhi okay Uh, it was implemented on 1st april 2015 with the nirbhaya fund the one stop centers can established at various locations in india for providing shelters police desk legal medical and counseling services to victims of violence under one roof integrated with a 24 hour helpline The toll-free helpline number is one eight one. Here is a list of sakhi centers across the India. These centers can be contact contacted. Okay, so uh, for emergency and uh, response and rescue services and uh, medical assistance and assistance in lodging, F I R or N C R or D I R. Even uh, it could be uh, you can fire uh, go through this uh, number or toll free helpline uh, for some psycho cases for social support or counseling for legal aids and counseling shelters and video conferencing facility to record statements of police and courts. Okay, so the next is working women hostels. the objective of this scheme is to so recently let me introduce this this is the um, uh, scheme that is launched that a girl or women that is living in hostel can work from their only the objective of is this scheme is to promote the availability of safe and conveniently location accommodation for working women with day care facility for their children wherever possible in urban semi urban and even rural areas where employment opportunities for women exist okay further details of this scheme can be accessed on the uh, De- department of women and child developments official website okay so let's go through the next one here you can see so many women's here and uh, this key uh, this uh, this logo or this picture is of swadhar grah okay what is swadhar grah swadhar scheme was launched by the union minister of women and child development in 
for rehabilitation of women in difficult circumstances. The scheme provides shelter, food, clothing and care to marginalized women, girls who are in need. The beneficiaries include widows deserted by their families and relatives, women prisoners released from jail and without family support, women super, uh, survivors of natural disasters, women victims of terrorist, extremist violence, etc. The implementing agencies are mainly NGOs. Okay, so here NGOs are working. This is under the Ministry of Women and Child Development and in, it was launched in 2002. And what uh, what it is for? It is for the rehabilitation of women in difficult circumstances. Okay, so let's go through the next scheme. This is step support to training and employment program for women. This is the full form of step. The support to pro uh, training and employment program for women step scheme aims to provide skills that give employability to women and to provide competence and skills that enable women to become self-employed and entrepreneurs. A particular project will be for a duration of up to five years depending upon the nature and kind of activities and the number of beneficiaries to be undertaken. Okay, sectors including agriculture, horticulture, food processing, handlooms, tailoring, stitching, embroidery, zari, etc. or I can say handicrafts, computer and IT enable services along with soft, sk uh, soft skills and skills for the workplace such as spoken English, gems and jewelry, travel and tourism, hospitality, etc. Okay, these are the area that is that has been included in step or I can say support to training and employment program for women. This scheme has been launched by the uh, women, um, sorry, to training and employment program of women. Okay, so here it was the scheme. So uh, let's go through the next one. That this is Nari Shakti Puraskar. What it is? Nari Shakti Puraskar are national level award recognizing the efforts made by women and institutions in rendering this uh, dis is, sorry distinguished services for the cause of women especially vulnerable and marginalized women the awards are presented by the president of india every year on 8th march international women's day at rashtrapati bhavan in new delhi okay so it was also organized by yesterday and uh, the awards were given by the president of india to all those ladies or women and institutions in rendering uh, dis that are in distinguished services for the causes of women, especially vulnerable and marginalized women. Okay, so it is Nari Shakti Puraskar. Um, hope you got it. So this, I hope that this is a good gift from my side or from the uh, team of Achievers to all those women and already also I can say males that they can prepare for the examinations and all these schemes are correlated or connected with the women's only so it is a section that has been covered in this video that you don't have to go through any other scheme of women related women's these were the important schemes so if you will go through all these uh, schemes I hope this will be helpful for you for any exam any competitive exams whether it is UPSC or some state services or some SSCs or anything what are you giving then these schemes will be definitely helpful for you so thank you I will meet you by the next video and I hope it will help you a lot bye bye